All right, I'll see if this uh, comes out nicely. I don't know if this is the best camera um, vantage point or whatever, or camera angle. Um, yeah, I went to the uh, thrift store yesterday and um, it's nice to be able to just take my sweet time. But uh, I think I've mentioned before with this um, thrift store, if I can, if you purchase four books, uh, you get a fifth one free. So uh, that's once I get around to that level, it's essentially that's what's going to happen. It wasn't a lot of Great War books, but I picked up what I could. So I grabbed this one, The Great War and Modern Memory. No idea what it's about yet. Well, you know what I mean? I haven't really looked at it. And I don't even know if, uh, you know, uh, some of these books I'm actually even going to read or whatever, if I'm ever going to leaf through them. But uh, this one I wanted to pick up for sure, the uh, Concise German Dictionary. It's got a lot of words that are like, you know, uh, huge concepts or something. I was like, gosh, I wish I could have Harold Bosma with me off to the side to help me out or whatever. But I thought, well, there's probably going to be a fair amount of uh, things that I, f I, I see when I'm uh, reading up on the Great War and, Ger you know, with the Germans and Austro-Hungarians and all that stuff. So I thought, hey, might as well snag that. They also had um, uh, the Habsburg monar monarchy here. Um, like I said, I don't know even if I'm going to read it or not, but I was like, well, I might as well pick it up for goodness sakes. This was kind of a nice, um, a nice one to, to see, especially due to the fact that I had just... Um, attended that uh, talk on Saturday with uh, American women in World War One. It was really good, especially about the war correspondence. It was quite good. I took a lot of notes. But uh, this one's good, you know, obviously not just about the Great War, but it's got a, a fair chunk of it. So I thought that would be nice to have. And this one was, well, I guess you could call it my my freebie or whatever. And I was like, I, it's in great shape. I was like, holy smoke. I just, just on the off chance spotted it when I was looking at the uh, German uh, concise dictionary there. And uh, it's the ultimate RPG character backstory guide. It looks pretty neat. I'll try to, whatever. It's in great shape. Um, and it's got all kinds of neato things. So even uh, where's this one thing? I think where does it say here? Something about save the cat. Determine your character's alignment based on uh, the level of personal risk he or she is willing to take to save a cat. I thought this is going to be kind of neat to. Uh, to uh, take a look at. So those are the books I got and I also did snag a couple of games. Uh, one game I already have it's uh, this one here, the Cubic game. But I think my copy coincidentally I also got it from the, the same thrift store. This one I only paid three dollars for it. But the thing is it reminds me so much of Doppeldecker. My Doppeldecker game for goodness sakes is, I mean come on, look at that. So um, you can see it's like, uh, you know, three-dimensional um, four level chess or uh, checkers or something like that. But then this game, this game I saw caught my eye. It was certainly the cover. I went, oh my. And I also paid $3 for this. I was really surprised. Um, so you can see here, it's, uh, I can't, I can't pronounce the word. I can't pronounce that. But uh, that's what it is. And I'll show you the back of the box. Looks pretty good. I don't know if I'll ever play it or whatever, but I'll certainly take a look. I did poke in. Sorry about the glare. I'm trying as hard as I can, but it's this bloody stuff. The map's really nice, and it's got some interesting components. I was like, so hold on here. I'll take a look with you very quickly. Yeah, look at all these nice uh, wood. Maybe I should lay the map out. I mean, the board, and then uh, I'll have the other things on the side. Yeah, the map looks really nice. Interesting that, uh, you know, I've been talking about uh, uh, grid of offset squares and looking at things other than hexes and whatnot, and, and this thing's got uh, triangles, so I thought that was kind of neat, so uh, yeah, you can see that, good. Um, yeah, it's something to do about with the, the four elements or something like that, and the, uh, the rule book is quite interesting, uh, the way they've got it laid out like this, it's wonderful paper, oh my gosh, it's one thing I... I do tend to bang on about but it's a beautiful nice uh, good quality um, cream paper that's really really nice so I don't know what in the world's going on it's got a bazillion cards here um, as you can see here hold on here you can see there's a ton of cards I don't know what in the world they do because I don't know the well there's like of water and whatnot so let's take a look here Alliteration is the repetition of the initial letter in a series of words forming a sentence or phrase Edith eats Easter eggs every Easter. Your challenge is to create an alliterative sentence or phrase under the letter T, five word minimum. Interesting. This is going to be a, 
yeah, I would think I may have to go and take a bit, a bit more of a look on those, these rules. Maybe I'll end up being able to play it with uh, um, non-wargamer types. Uh, that'll be nice. But I wanted to show you the, some of the wooden components. Um, like I said, I don't know anything about... Uh, here, I'll zoom in a bit. I'm just going to make sure I know which one I'm doing here. Good, okay. I'll bring it down a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if that works. I don't know. Yeah, some interesting uh, blocks. They've got, uh, I don't know if you can see that. Um, what is that? A dragon. And then there's uh, Yeah, I don't know what in the world uh, any of the, uh, maybe these are like home thing. There's a, a turtle. I don't know what that is. Uh, some kind of fish or something. Oops. Sorry, I'm not looking at the camera. Uh, and then, yeah, so I don't know what in the world's going on here. Oh, there's a, there's a Pegasus. Cool. And, uh, yeah, it's, I was like, my goodness, for $3. I mean, why not? At first I was like, okay, like I said, I was just look, I was intrigued by the, uh, um, the cover. And then I saw the map and then I saw the wooden pieces. And I was like, okay, come on on. You're going to, might as well come on home. Tell you about it. Um, I just wanted to kind of just share what I picked up uh, yesterday at the thrift store. Hope you're doing well. See you later.